the history of the origin of the species. It is believed that peak dogs were the ancestors of the breed. When crossed with domestic dogs, they sought to obtain offspring, distinguished by excellent hunting skills. The first mentions of dogs of this type date back to the 17th century. The appearance of fox terriers of those times was very different from each other, only the excellent ability to hunt burrowing animals, a fox, a badger, etc. was common. After the English aristocrats became interested in hunting and turned their attention to these animals, selection began to take into account not only working qualities but also appearance. The dogs had to be small, compact, and have a noticeable color so that the hunter would not accidentally shoot the pet. Initially, the wire-haired fox terrier was often crossed with a smooth-haired one, it was even believed that these species had a common origin. Only in 1876 was the first breed standard adopted, describing the main characteristics of dogs. After that, most clubs recognized the wire-haired dog as a separate species, although some still believe that it is just a form of fox terrier. Distinctive features. The FCI standard stipulates the following requirements for the dog's exterior. The head has an almost even top of the skull, tapering gradually towards the nose. The feet and cheekbones are weak, the area under the eyes is full. The skull is slightly sloping, slightly different in length from the muzzle. The bite is scissors. The jaws are full-toothed and strong. The upper incisors are strictly vertical, overlapping the lower ones. The nose is extremely black. The eyes should be as close to a circle as possible. Always dark, lively, small in size. They should not be set wide or high, and convex are also unacceptable. The neck is muscular, widens towards the shoulder area, has no dulap, and is dry. If you look at the dog from the side, you can notice its noticeable bend. The ears fit well to the temples, directed straight forward. Similar in shape to the English letter V. Form a fold, the upper line of which is always located above the skull line. The tail is strong, set high, carried upright, never slung over the back. In the past, it was more often docked by a third. The natural option is now allowed. The trunk is preferably square when the height at the withers and the length of the back are approximately equal. The body with strong bones in the stance resembles a hunting horse. The absolutely flat back passes into a very short, barely convex loin. The sternum is not wide, but deep. Only the last ribs have good curvature and length. Legs muscular, straight, showing no signs of weakness. The shoulder joint and withers are well defined. Shoulder blades of pronounced length, oblique. The elbows are always at a 90 degree angle to the body. The hocks are low, and the knees cannot be twisted. The movements are straightforward, the legs move parallel to each other. The hind ones give a boost. The coat is very hard, wire-like, with a shorter and softer undercoat under the on. Longer hair is located on the jaws, legs, spine, sides and withers. Features of character and behavior. This dog has the typical terrier character. Fox Terrier is a real hunter, with all the ensuing behavioral features. Dignity. Like all terriers, representatives of this breed are energetic, mobile, always ready to play or work. They can run for a long time, bring the ball, participate in other entertainment, which, of course, makes them great companions for older children. Curiosity and a lively mind allow fox terriers to quickly master new commands. Attachment to the owner, the desire to receive praise from him, only help in training and education. Inborn fearlessness and guarding instincts make dogs good defenders. Dogs are always vigilant for strangers, when negative actions are manifested, they notify the owners of the intruder with a loud bark, they can rush to the attack, regardless of the size of the opponent. These dogs are easygoing, they will gladly go on country walks with the owner. Fox terriers will appreciate a free time, the opportunity to explore new territories and get to know the local fauna. English hunters will well survive moving to a new home or city. Disadvantages. Typical stubbornness of terriers has not spared representatives of this breed. If they do not want to, they can ignore commands, cheat, be distracted. It is important to find the right approach to your pet and start training from an early age. The strong instinct of the hunter makes it difficult to keep such a pet with other animals. Most likely, the fox terrier will be perceived as a game worth pursuing, cats, ferrets, birds, hamsters. In addition, the dog can arrange a fight with other dogs, especially of the same gender. Due to the possible awakening of the hunter's instinct, it is not recommended to walk the dog without a leash. In the heat of pursuit, it may not hear the call of the owner. It is also worth noting that wire-haired fox terriers are prone to escaping, in principle, not only for a walk, but also from the backyard. Dogs of this breed love to dig the ground, which threatens the flower beds and beds with trouble. Also, their characteristic shrill voice, which they like to demonstrate, can provoke conflicts with neighbors. Despite the positive attitude towards children, the dog will not tolerate rough treatment, grabbing by the coat, therefore it is undesirable for the fox to live in a family with babies.
care and maintenance. The wire-haired terrier does not shed, but its coat requires timely trimming. There are usually no problems with claws and teeth, however, they also require care. It is necessary to inspect the pet's paws monthly, if necessary, remove the regrown part of the nail plate with a nail clipper. Teeth need to be brushed one to two times a week. The oracles of foxes are closed and not ventilated, which creates conditions for inflammation. Also, the appearance of a tick will not immediately be noticeable. Therefore, the iris should be examined one to two times a week and cleaned if necessary. Be sure to check for mites in the sink after trips to nature. The dog's eyes need to be checked weekly. If secretions or inflammation are found, it is necessary to rinse the organ with chamomile infusion. To do this, a cotton pad is moistened in the liquid and moved from the outer corner of the eye to the inner one. Food. Representatives of the breed love to eat, usually an active lifestyle helps to burn extra calories, but it is better not to overfeed the pet and not indulge in goodies once again. Fox food can be offered natural or ready-made professional varieties. Both options are acceptable, and the choice depends on the preferences of the owner and the well-being of the pet. Natural nutrition, first of all, involves feeding with meat and offal. In this case, you need to choose low-fat varieties, because an excess of this component harms the pet's gastrointestinal tract. In addition to meat, cereals such as buckwheat and rice, as well as the following foods, should be present in the diet. Vegetables, fermented milk products, cheese, cottage cheese, unsweetened fruits, eggs, sea fish. The last product from the above is served only boiled and after removing all the bones. Eggs can be fed one to two times a week. Among professional feeds, you can purchase both dry versions and canned food. In any case, these should be at least premium brands, but better super premium or holistic. It is advisable to choose options marked for active breeds. Health. The wire-haired fox terrier is a robust dog that usually has a long life. However, some representatives may display breed-specific diseases diseases. The wire-haired fox terrier has a fairly good health. However, the representatives of the breed may have the following diseases, cataract. This disease leads to a gradual decrease in visual function due to a violation of the transparency of the lens. At the same time, the eye looks grayish-blue, cloudy. Dystichiasis. Incorrect growth of eyelashes, which leads to trauma to the surface of the eye, the appearance of inflammation, pain. Diabetes. Suggests a reduced production of insulin by the body, which is why high blood glucose levels are maintained. Epilepsy. Due to congenital cerebral dysfunctions, the dog has seizures. Perth's disease. It manifests itself in necrosis of the femoral head, which leads to lameness, pain when walking, poor joint mobility. Myasthenia gravis. More often it is a congenital problem and affects several puppies from a litter at once. Due to the lack of acetylcholine, the transmission of nerve impulses to the cells is disrupted, therefore, weakness of certain muscle groups occurs. Hearing problems. Walked. A wire-haired fox terrier should not be started if there is no time for its full range. The pet will use the unspent energy to destroy the atmosphere at home. Also, in the absence of a walk, the dog will bark and howl, which can provoke a conflict with neighbors. These dogs need long active walks, including running, jumping, and ball delivery. Escorting the owner on roller skates is good, but make sure that there is no transport on the way. The dogs will be happy to participate in all types of dog entertainment, for example, conicross, agility, frisbee, freestyle. Hair care. Representatives of the breed do not shed, but require trimming. This concept appeared in England in the last century. During the procedure, the dead wool is plucked out, a kind of artificial shedding occurs, which creates conditions for the rapid growth of a new one. It is better to teach trimming from a very early age, at 1.5 to 2 months, periodically lifting the baby on a stool or table for several minutes, then gradually combing and plucking the hair. The procedure can be hygienic in nature, in this case it is shown to all wire-haired fox terriers without exception, or it can be an exhibition procedure, which is necessary only for pets with a show perspective. For the first time a puppy can be fully trimmed at 4 to 5 months, when the adult coat appears. Dogs of this breed are rarely bathed, only in case of severe pollution. Before the exhibition, the procedure is carried out no later than a week, after which the wool is dried, preventing it from becoming tousled. Feet can be washed under running water after every walk. How to buy and choose a puppy. You should budget anywhere from $2,200 upwards to $5,300, or even more for a wire fox terrier with top breed lines and a superior pedigree. The average cost for all wire fox terriers sold is $900. In order to acquire a healthy baby fox terrier with all breed characteristics, you need to contact the nursery. It is worth studying the list of existing establishments specializing in breeding representatives of the breed, check their registration and read reviews. 
It is also necessary to view the achievements of the Cattery graduates, information about the available sires and the expected litters. A good way to meet a professional breeder of a future pet is to attend breed shows. It is there that you can see live foxes of a particular breeder, hear the opinion of the judges about them, get acquainted with their character, health and training. When a suitable kennel is selected, it is worth deciding what the puppy is for, as a companion for games or hunting, for breeding or participating in exhibitions. Based on this criterion, the breeder will help you choose a pet. When visiting the nursery, you need to familiarize yourself with the pedigrees of the parents, information about mating, check the baby's metric and brand, and also evaluate his behavior. The puppy should be active, inquisitive, showing no signs of anxiety or aggression when approaching strangers or noise. After the purchase, the breeder must transfer the metric to the new owner, which must later be replaced with a pedigree, a veterinary passport for the baby. A pet over 45 days old already has a brand. The Wire Fox Terrier is a great companion for an active and energetic family. He will be happy to participate in games, competitions, trips to nature. Playful character, compact size and lack of molting make it an excellent pet for apartment maintenance.